everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Randa from Randa Diamond Paints and today I have what I assume is going to be a collective of videos because this is not the only package that I have coming in this theme. I decided to jump on the Coverminder bandwagon and went to a bunch of different Etsy shops that I had heard about and ordered a bunch of different minders. So um, I have quite a few packages coming. This is one of them. This is the first one to arrive and I think this is where I got most of my minders. Um, it also inspired me to create my own minder Etsy shop. So it hasn't opened yet at the time of this recording. I will put it up on the screen if it has opened since then because I plan on opening it this week. But I will be selling cover minders and I will of course be making and selling cover minders on Etsy. So I was really excited to go try out some other minder places before I opened my shop. And, but nonetheless, not only am I going to link all of these different cover minder shops below, I will also be listing my own cover minder shop below, my own Etsy shop. Uh, it's going to be called Randa's DP Creations, as far as I'm concerned. Again, if I have changed the name since then, I will put it on the screen. But that's so far what we're going with. So anyway, this package is from an Etsy shop called The Creative Palace, and they sell a bunch of cover minders. I can't remember if they sell anything else on there, but I know for a fact they sell a bunch of cover minders, and they're really cute and a good price. And so... I went ahead and grabbed a few from her shop. I can't remember the name of the woman who runs the shop, but it's the Creative Palace on Etsy. Let's see. Oh, I got a piece of paper first. Oh, long piece of paper. Okay, looks like it's an invoice, so I'm not going to show you all my information. So, Looks like we just got one big bag with all of them in there. Yes, okay, look at this cute little bag. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, and a cute little thank you sticker on it. I love that. There we go. These are very nicely packaged. I think that, yeah, they're all in bubble wrap. Love that, okay. Let's see what we got, you guys. this oh 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 okay here we go I was like I don't recognize these these are just the backs that's cute as heck okay here are the first few so let me move some of my stuff out the way this is the first cover minder that I got it is a little green triceratops look how cute he is and then it has these two little magnets on the back, obviously. And the back of the magnet is super cute. Love that. And then, yay. Okay, so her name is Whitney Schaefer. New handmade clays, needle minders, threads, threaders, scissor fobs, etc. To excite the everyday stitcher. So these are technically needle minders. Um, I will be using them as cover minders. I got this one to go with my next kit that I'm going to be working on actually, but by the time this video goes up, it probably will be either the kit I'm working on or it will be done. Um, this is for Pink Mermaid. I got this cute little mermaid minder, and again, it has a cute little flower magnet on the back. Are these going to like stick together? Oh, they're going to repel each other actually. Okay, good to know. And then the last one on this little business card is this adorable little bunny sleeping on a moon. Like, come on, look at him. Don't you just love him so much? Because I do. And then you've got this cute little magnet on the back. Oh, I love him. I love him. Okay. And then here is her business card that she put in there. That will not stop spinning chill <laughs> and then some more information on where you can find her 
Right, to avoid damage, always slide magnets apart instead of pulling. Sweet. Awesome. Yay! Okay, so there's the first few. I didn't know they had such fun backings on all of them. That's exciting. Okay, and then here's the rest of them. Yay, okay. So I got this little pig, this tiny little pig minder, this little purple back. Do you see him? Do you see him? Look at him. So cute. Oops, these ones want to stick together. I think I'm going to put them back on the card, business card, and just store them like that. This is a little green dragon. Oh, look at him. I'm definitely going to be using this one on like my Randall Spangler pieces. And it comes with this cute little swirly design on the back. This one is a little mushroom house. I don't know why. I just thought it was adorable. And it has this really pretty like multicolor tree magnet on the back. Oh my god. Oh, they're all so, all the, the minders are so mad at me. I need to put them on a thing. I got this cute little bumblebee minder, which reminds me that I also got today in the mail uh, the stuff that I'm going to use to make my minders. And I ha and the, that's the supplies to make the little bumblebee minders. So I'm going to have bumblebee minders as well. So if you like hers, of course, go buy hers. But you can also check out my shop and I have mine. I have some bumblebee minders on there as well. So this is a little bumblebee minder from her, which is so cute. And it has this little yellow backing magnet, which fits perfectly with the theme, in my opinion. And then the very last minder that I got from her was this cute little pink sheep. Can you even stand it? Oh my god. She had this little sheep in a bunch of different colors. So um, I just chose the pink and I might go back and get some of the other colors as well. But anyway, let me put them all back on the cards and then I will be right back. All right, you guys, so here's a little overview of all of the minders that I got. This is how I'm going to store them for the meantime. I am hoping to find a better way to figure out how to store these. I just don't know exactly what that's going to be yet. So for now, they're going to sit on their little business cards. And, um, and I'm just going to put them in my little organizer that way. But here again is a little overview. And of course, like I said, I will link the Creative Palace down below. She has so many minder options for a really good price. Do these stick together? Yes, they do. Okay, sorry, curiosity. <laughs> she has so many cute minders to choose from. I absolutely would recommend this shop and will be purchasing from them again because, oh my God, look how pretty. Okay, anyway, that is it for the Creative Palace. I will see you in the next clip for some of the other shops. All right, so here is the second day in the many unboxings of cover minders. I think there's just one more left to go. This, I think, I say so many, I think there's only three, but this package just came in the mail today. It is two days later from the last clip, and I believe this package is from an Etsy shop called The Crafting Tree, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they put a cute little thank you sticker on the bottom which is awesome I'm pretty sure there is only one cover minder in here how the heck do you open it how the heck okay I guess it's upside down we'll go this way but because this cover minder was definitely more expensive than others I've seen but it was so cute I had to have it I had to, could not help myself. All right, let's see. Okay, I see an invoice. Look at it real quick. Whoops. Yep, so this is from the crafting tree. Perfect. Yay. All right. So then this is my little cover minder. I think that's all that's in here, yep. So we've got a little cover minder. 
Let's, and it's wrapped in tissue paper all nicely, so cute. Um, also, update on my Etsy shop. I got some more supplies in today, so I should be able to open up my Etsy shop within the next couple of days. Today is, what is it, June 3rd? So within the next couple of days, hopefully, I will be able to put some stuff up and get that started. I'm planning on doing cover minders, like I said, and I'm also thinking about putting up some wax, like diamond painting wax. So keep a look out for that. Anyway, this is the crafting tree. This is what we're focusing on today. If I could ever get it open, if ever, uh, wrapped very tightly and nicely. Oh, <laughs> look at him! Look! Oh my goodness! So I found this cover minder because of uh, Katie from Diamonds and Washi. I saw it in her cover minder stash. I think she had the pink one though. She might have had the purple one as well, I don't remember. But I was like, look at him, I need him in my life. He has two magnets on the back, two fancy magnets. Very fancy. Um, you might only low key need one of them, but we'll see once we start diamond painting with it. But isn't he so cute? This is a little purple dragon. This was $11 on the crafting tree. So that's what I mean by it's a little more expensive is that it usually cover minders are more like $4, $5, and this one was 11. Um, but he's much bigger than the other cover minders I have, and he's also made of like metal. So he's a little bit more fancy and heavy duty. So I see why the why $11 was the price. And honestly, he's worth it because literally look at him. The Crafting Tree has some really amazing products on their site, so I would highly recommend you go check them out. Of course, just like with the Creative Palace, I will go ahead and link it down below for you, link um, her Etsy shop down below. And then I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. We have one more package left. I believe it is from, oh no, we have two. One's from Kim's Needle Minders and one is from Drill Pen Frenzy, I believe is the name. So two more clips. I'll see you in the next one. All right, every, excuse yourself. Wow. All right, everybody, we are back with the last clip actually, because I got both of these in the same day. These are my last two packages. It is a few days later from the last clip actually. It's about three days later. My nails have changed. <laughs> And, um, and like I said, these are the last two packages. I've just, camera, that is rude. <laughs> this one is from Drill Pen Frenzy and this one is from Kim's Needle Minders. So which one do I open first is the real question. We'll start with Drill Pen Frenzy, I guess. I guess we'll start with Drill Pen Frenzy. Did I, we might need some scissors. Oh, oh God, no, no. Get, get, get. Never mind, we don't need skizzers. Who needs skizzers? All right, so I got a few things from them. Oh, I see a piece of paper first. I'll always start with a piece of paper. Oh, it's a little invoice sticker. Talking about what I got. Why, thanks. Fun, fun. Then, let's see, we got some packages. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Er. Sparkle wherever you go. Diamond painting by Donnie. I didn't know Donnie was the. How did I not know that? For whatever reason, I didn't. So, Diamond Painting by Donnie has a YouTube channel and the whole nine. I, for whatever reason, I didn't know that she owned Drill Pen Frenzy. But cool. Good to know. Okay, okay, oh my God, it's so small. <gasps> it's so cute, I thought it was gonna be so much bigger. So this is not cover minder related, but um, I saw this for $2 on her site and had to have it. It's a little 3D printed, oops, you can't see that. It's a little 3D printed majig. What it's for is that you like set it on your surface and it, you set your pen in there so that it won't roll off, which I love. And I was also thinking, cause since my, thing. So I have a lap desk 
that I work at my coffee or coffee table, work at, on my couch with. And so, you know, sometimes my table can lean various directions based on where my weight is distributed and whatever, because it's a couch, it's not flat. So I was like, well, if this thing, I got sick of my pens rolling around, so I got this. And then I was like, well, if this starts sliding around, I can slap a magnet on the bottom and do it that way. So yay, that's exciting. I was expecting it to be bigger for whatever reason, but I'm glad it's small because then I think my pen should pit, should, wow, I think my pen should fit perfectly in there. That is exciting. And like I said, it was $2. So I was like, yes, please, ma'am. Thank you, love it. Thank you, Donnie. All right, these are my two cover minders that I got from Drill Pen Frenzy. Urgh. And of course, I will be linking her Etsy shop down in the description box for you guys. Just like I've been saying this whole entire video. Oh, look at them! Okay, let's take them out so you can see them better. Start with him. Oh, I love him! There's some glue on it from when she glued the magnet on there. That's okay, little strings of glue. I feel your pain. Look at him! So I, it said it was like a movie inspired dragon. I'm like a thousand percent sure this is Toothless from um, How to Train Your Dragon. Look at him! Isn't he just amazing? I love him so much. I thought he was so cute. And of course you got your little magnet on the back. Couldn't you just eat him up? Look! I love him! And he's metal too. He's like really nice quality. And then this last, the second one that I got was Lil Piglet. So they, she had all of the Winnie the Pooh characters and I grabbed a little Piglet. Look at him. And again, same thing. You got the magnet on the back. You got a small little magnet back there. Look at him. Look how cute he is. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So many cover minders. I have, I now have, I'm never going to need any more, except are we probably going to buy more someday? Probably. But look. Eee. All right. So fun. Okay. So those are my three things from Drill Pen, Drill Pen Frenzy. Why can't I say that ever? Why? Let's get some of the bubble wrap and things. Let me get it out of the way. I'll, I'll I'll let these sit sit right there so you can stare at them. And this is Kim's needle minders. I think I got four or five of them from from her, so there should be a few in here. And it says fragile all over it. And then I almost dropped it when it showed up, and I was like, Randa, Lord. Okay, so there's that, and there's nothing else in there. Okay. We're gonna start with this one. Oh my God, I already saw him. I already know what it is. Oh my God, I'm so excited for him. Uh, er, there. <laughs> Look, it's a narwhal. <laughs> Look at the little bow on his head. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take him off of this like cardboard piece. Look, guys. Oh my goodness. And he's got his little magnet. Ooh, that's a that's a strong ass magnet. Damn. Okay. Look at him. Oh my god, I love him so much. He is everything. Isn't he cute? The little narwhal guy. Oh, I love him. Okay, let's see. Oh look, thank you for supporting my small business. You're welcome for supporting your small business. I support other small businesses in hope that people will support mine once it opens. Which by the way, update on the Etsy shop, it is getting close. I have, I am finished with some of my cover minders. I just need to actually like take pictures and list them. And then I will let you guys know. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's start with this guy. 
So this is a little dragon, little red dragon. And he's got some little like flowers down there. It came with the option of you, you could either get this red one or there was like a blue one that was facing the other direction. And I've gotten a lot of blue cover minders and I don't have any red cover minders. So I figured I'd get the cute little red dragon and his nice strong magnet at the back. This is just a flat one flat plastic one, but isn't he pretty? I love it. Love, 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 love. And then this is smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's so cute. Got this teeny tiny little unicorn. He's <laughs> so small and adorable with his teeny tiny, or not teeny tiny magnet, but little magnet on the back. Look y'all. Isn't he cute? Little blue unicorn. Sorry, that was a little high pitched. I apologize. And then the last one is this really beautiful butterfly. I was like, I'm getting so many cutesy things. I got to get something that's like really just like pretty, like just pretty. So I got this little white and gold butterfly. Y'all, it is so much prettier in person than it is in the picture like the picture does not do it justice at all like wow do you kind of see it sparkle like that I love it love 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 it and then here is her business card I maybe need to make some business cards that might not be the worst idea in the world huh warning always keep small parts and magnets away from children's pets and pacemakers Will do. <laughs> all right, y'all. So these are all of the cover minders that I have currently and that I have coming. I want to make sure I'm not for I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but I'm just, I'm, I'm paranoid. Okay, we're not forgetting anything. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Don't worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Get all the bubble wrap in there. Whoops. All right, you guys, these are all of the cover minders that I have gotten from this. Let me do a quick overview. I'm going to grab all of the ones that I have and show them to you. So hold on. All right, you guys, these are all the cover minders that I have currently, minus the pink mermaid that is currently on my, <laughs> on my kit, pink mermaid. So the little purple dragon, the green dragon, little pig man. This cute little, uh, what is this called? Stegosaurus or something? These three we just saw. Little pink, oops. Little pink lamb, narwhal dragon, unicorn. Little bumblebee. The butterfly. Little mushroom house. And then this adorable, I think I'm gonna use this for my next kit. This adorable little bunny sleeping on a moon. Those are all of my cover minders currently. Um, I can almost guarantee you this stash will grow apparently, or apparently, especially with the fact that I am kind of starting my own cover minder business. So I bet this stash will grow, <laughs> but for now, this is the stash. I have one of like every color I could ever need. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys liked this unboxing and getting to see all of the different cover minders from the different from some of the different shops. Like I have said throughout this video, I will link all the shops down below so that you can go check them out and support them as well. I also, if by the time my shop goes live, I will link my shop down below as well. Um, cause I'm expecting that to go up maybe even today, but you're not gonna see this for a few weeks, so. Um, well, maybe less than a few, depending on how long it takes me to edit the rest of the videos. You're not going to see this for a minute. So, but anyway, I'll go ahead and link my Etsy shop down below if it is up and running. So you can check out my cover minders as well, in case you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.